Hi, it's Mary DeCross again from Southington Community Cultural Arts, also known as SOCA. And I'm here again to show you a very simple art project that you can do with things around your house. You can do them with your kids or you can do them by yourself. Um, this is kind of a silly project. They're um, tin foil people and, or, and pets. And when I was teaching out at uh, the Y and at St. Dominic's years ago, uh, budget was small and that's fine. And um, so you learn how to use things that are cheap and that are fun. So I think what better way than to just work with some tin foil to create armatures and to create little sculpt uh, sculpture people, tin foil people. So all I have to have on this project is a roll of tin foil and you pull it out about 10 inches so you have something about this size <clears throat> and what you want to do is with your fingernail you divide it into thirds you kind of see that i don't know if you can see that on the camera but you can see that if you if you do it yourself oh i just but that's okay it's okay that i tore that once you have it divided into thirds, can you see that a little bit? A little bit. Um, take the bottom third and just cut it, cut that in half up to that line that you created. The top of the paper, you want to divide that into thirds and cut to the top of the first line. So when you finish, you have something like this. And as always, nothing has to be perfect, nothing has to be measured. Um, and as you can see, you can start to see the little man, the two legs, the head, and you begin with uh, slowly pinching the middle of your little person. And the secret to this is that Try not to ever get too tight, especially in the beginning. As you can see, this is pretty loose. And once I have that for the waist, I'm gonna start to pull out and very gently form a foot without getting too tight with your tin foil. And another leg, another foot. Then I'm going to pull out an arm and very gently and loosely I'm going to pinch this all up and you can start to see the little person, the little tinfoil person. Now the, it doesn't matter where you start, you can start at the arms, you can start at the head. And uh, now I'm going to end with pinching the little head. Once that loose form is created, everything to do with sculpting has to do, is very tactile. It has to do with your fingers, has to do with how you're working with your clay, tin foil, whatever you're working with. And so you have to begin with your hands to shape the shapes that you want it to be. So you see I'm getting a little bit tighter so that I can shape the legs, shape the feet, shape the arms. Uh, proportionately on a person, your arms, when they're straight down, go along the hips. So this, you can see the arm is a little bit too long, so I'm just gonna fold the end to make a cool little hand. Pinch this arm, do this one, cool little hand. And then I'm gonna end with the, and here's my little man. Once you have something like this, just be creative how you want to, uh, 
display it if you want to hide them around the house for the kids for a scavenger hunt uh, if you just want to give them little messages and put them in uh, secret places so that when either your husband or your wife or your kid finds it he has a cute little message from your little tinfoil man but they're fun um also maybe the kids want to make clothes for it or they want to make little dioramas for it i mean it can go on and on how creative you want to be and make them into these little people and just have fun with them now you can see here that there's a little animal a little dog that's what it's supposed to be and the I'm just going to show you on this. Let's say we wanted to make this a dog. So we're going to take the head. We're going to pull back the head. And then we're going to do the four legs that go down. And again, once you have the, the body loosely, then you can start to pinch it a little bit more. These back legs are very big, long. So I'm just gonna fold them up, make them into a paw, make it sit on your table or wherever you're working to make sure that it stands up. And then you can take your scissors, put a little slit at the top with your scissors. And those are your two ears. only thing he doesn't have now is a little tail. But you could wrap another piece, get another piece of tinfoil, wrap it around the stomach, and then have the tail, tail came, come out of it. So that's my um, little project for the day. Have fun with it. And be safe and stay home.